Dave Bain. Let's see you put your dick in more sauce.
You're fine. Don't run. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Lord, in prayer. Christian Harvest, would you stand up and ask for a blessing on this offering? Well, thank God I didn't have to prove them wrong. Amen. 
Open that Bible to Ephesians chapter 6. I know we've had a good day in the Lord. We've had some good singing. We've had some good eating. And I know that we're tired. Uh, trust me, my back right now is screaming. Somebody say amen. amen. But now listen, we ain't going to shortchange what's God. That's right. Amen. And God's, God's is preaching. Amen. And this amen. is where he, he shows up. You can... I can show you Bible That's right, amen. where they had church without any singing. Amen. But you can't show me no Bible where they had church without any preaching. Amen. And, amen. and so we're going to have church. We're going to have to have preaching. And uh, we're going to go on the armor of God tonight to some Lord put on my heart. I'm not going to be teaching in depth like I have in time past. But I do want to touch bases on them. Find verse 11. Stand with me one more time, Don, and read the Word of God. Has anybody got anything they want to brag on the Lord that they got today? Ephesians 6, 11. I do. Um, Go ahead, Sister Gross. I've been dealing with an anniversary of a loved one passing, and members of the team of Mark say have been inside to me quite for the last couple of days yesterday and today. And the matriarch of the family actually stood up and defended me. She is saved. You know, she stood up and defended me, and that I can only say is God because He knows what I did. She knows what I did. Yeah. And for the fact that somebody stood up for me when everybody else was accusing me of doing such horrible thing, I only thank God for someone that's standing up for me. Well, amen. That's good. Yeah. Amen. That's good. I'm happy God bless you through that. Amen. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Certainly. <laughs> Ma'am. Ma <laughs> uh, I just want to thank the Lord for being here today. And, um, you know, I was watching um, as the crowd started to die down and everybody was here having fun and just fellowshipping together. And I just want to thank the Lord for that because um, truly we are living the dream. And this is the best life that there is. And it's so much fun being a Christian. And the world thinks they're out there having fun, but they wake up the next day with regrets, and we don't. Amen. Right. And, um, it was just so good, and we have such a sweet um, unity here and such a sweet fellowship and spirit, and um, I just love seeing all the fun and all the goodness go, you know, going around, and um, it's just such a sweet fellowship and such a good time, and it's a blast being a Christian. It's the best life there is to live. Amen. 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 That's right. Well, we've had, we had a good time today. Amen. Two people gave their heart to the Lord. Amen. 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 That's uh, that's not anything to take lightly. I mean, that's what we're here for. We want people to come in and get help. And I don't Amen. know if you but can I tell you, I had several people come up to me and say, I got help this morning. I just want to know how much I got help this morning. Amen. And that right there, well, if the Bible's the one helping them, see, me and you can't help. Them. That's Amen. right. And they come up and say, you know what, Brother Hart, you sure help me. Then I look at them and say, you've been in a lot of trouble. Amen. 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 Well, when they come up and say, I got help this morning. Yeah. That means from the Lord, from his yeah. word, amen. I got the easiest position there is. I just preach what's already been pre-written. Amen. amen. And I just got to be prayed up, read up when I do it. Amen. amen. But, uh, but praise God, the Lord was able to help people this morning. I believe we had us a time. And, uh, and I thank God for the fellowship this amen. morning. Amen. Well, let's have it again tonight. How's that amen. sound? Amen. amen. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Well, first, it's a Sunday. And it's my birthday. Amen. Amen. And the fall festival. Amen. Amen. Had a great week. And yesterday, I was just at the store trying to buy something, and a girl just came to me and gave me $20. Amen. 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 And what a happy birthday, amen. 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 I like that. I don't shortchange it. That's a good thing. Amen. Amen. He said it's Sunday. It's my birthday. And the fall festival. <laughs> you can't beat it. Amen. amen. Well, it's the dream, ain't it, brother? Amen. amen. I love it. Amen. Ephesians 6, 11. You, I'll tell you right now, I love it. <laughs> All right. Yes, go right ahead. And when we were down in Jellico recently at that revival, and that little boy, that 15 year old, got up in the pulpit and he said, I'm living the dream, you know, and he was bawling. I thought about that, and truly, we are living the dream as Christians, and that pricked my heart so much that the world thinks that they're, that us church folk, we're missing out, that we're getting cheated. No, I've lived that life, yeah. and I've lived this life, and it's far superior. Amen. 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 That's right. It makes a 10 year old get all fired yes. up by the ball. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it. Yeah. I mean, if you just seen his face, y'all would die. I mean, he was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't handle no more. <laughs> hey, man, that's good. Praise the Lord. And I hope that's man, listen, there's a difference between those that are filled up and those that ain't. Amen. Amen. And I'm not just talking about bean soup either. So <laughs> Amen. 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 All right, verse 11, Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 11, remember Brother Tim as he's not feeling well. But remember Brother McGee, we'll make sure we keep praying for them. Amen. Boy, how much did that bless your soul to see Sister Jean at church? Amen. 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 So keep praying for her. I mean, man, that just blessed me. Somebody Amen. said, 12 years, won't it, Brother Daniel, when she cleared them off, celebrate 12 years of being cancer free. Amen. I'll be praying that that's the report we'll get tomorrow, 12 years yes. cancer free. Yes. All right, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 11. Bible says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand within that evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take in the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication of the spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and the supplication for all saints. Dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we do need a touch from heaven tonight. God, we just ask you to bless your word. Bless all those that are listening via the way of the internet. Bless those of God that are in the house of God. And Lord, may everyone get a touch from you. Lord, we love you. God, we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. amen. And amen. You may be seated. I want to bring out some truths out of the word of God tonight as we look at the armor of God. And I believe it needs to be preached on and brought up regularly. I, I've, I've been thinking about this with Veterans Day coming up. It's kind of been on my heart. I, I've started actually studying on it uh, uh, this past Veterans Day, not coming up, but I already time passed. Amen? Amen. I'll catch up on what they were in just in a minute. Amen? But uh, with Veterans Day had just passed, and this has been really on my heart a whole lot about the armor of God. Now, I'm thankful for all the men and women that have served and those that have sacrificed. And, and I think about their preparation. Amen. I think about basic training. I think about their advanced individual trainings, what we call AIT. I think about all the different field trainings and exercises and everything that, that goes into the preparation of a soldier's life. But can I tell you, above all that, there is a standard issue of things that are needed Amen. to be able to prepare for the fight. Amen. Now all the training is necessary. I don't Amen. want to take away from that, but the Bible says that the horse is prepared That's for the day of battle, but thank you for the Lord. Amen. And there is a, a, a preparation, there is a training, but the necessity of supply, in other words, you wouldn't run into Afghanistan if you didn't have a gun with you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you wouldn't have a, you wouldn't run in without your cap floor and Amen. without your uh, helmet and all these other things that, that makes up the necessity. Uh, you can I don't care how well trained you are, if I drop you out in the middle of nowhere and you don't, unless you're MacGyver, amen, and, uh, and you don't have the proper uh, supply, you're not going to be very effective. I don't care how well you've been trained. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I don't care how well you think you can do. If you don't have the necessity, Amen. if you don't have a gun, or if you have a gun but you don't have the bullets, Amen. Oh, amen. Or, or, amen. You got the cover, but you ain't got none of your uh, your protective amen. stuff. Here. Amen. I'm telling you. you need those things. I don't care how much preparation and how much training goes in. Without the necessities, you're going to be in a lot of trouble when the fight comes to you. Amen. And may I tell you, the fight will come. And if the fight already ain't going on, I'll tell everybody this, you're either in a storm tonight or you just came out of one, or bless your heart, you're about to go into one. Amen. Amen. And you better get a hold of this. Without the necessities, Amen. you are going in very ill-prepared. Amen. That's right. 
And these things, I know we read them and we pass over them, but can I tell you, these are daily applicable things that God requires for the child of God, the good soldier of Christ, to have in their daily that they may be able to stand and done all to stand. He will use these things to keep you standing. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you, I've met many casualties on the spiritual battlefield. Amen. Amen. I have met many that have been greatly wounded on the spiritual battlefield. I have found those uh, that have been mortally, I'm talking about, they can't lose their salvation, but Sister Jenny, they've been so badly uh, injured that they are of no good use to the kingdom. Their testimony's been destroyed. I mean, their lives have been wrecked, and I'm going to tell you, dear friend, I mean, we may have to go through some bad things, but how we go through them is really, really important. That's right, amen. Amen. I know people that have lived some tragedies, but how they came through the tragedies was very important. Amen. And I can tell you that you will not come through significant things without necessity items in your Christian life. Amen. First, I want to show you attention to verse 11. And I'm going to hit on this twice. But I want to start right here. And the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Go down to verse 13. Amen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Amen. Twice here, we are not told to pick and choose Amen. to our personalities. Amen. We're not told to pick and choose unto our talents. Nope. We're not told to, to use one and not use another. I want you, before I get deep in the message tonight, I want you to know, uh, according to the Word of God, uh, we are to put on uh, the whole arm. Amen. Now, a lot amen. of people, amen, right here, but then to wake up tomorrow and you'll be the first person, if you're not paying attention, that will get it up and will be ill prepared with the necessities that are needed to even go out and face the day. Amen. amen. The Bible says that evil's already prepared for tomorrow. That's why we redeem the time. The days are evil. You understand that, that Satan's already got a bullseye on you and got a bullseye on me. And, and tomorrow, dear friend, listen to me. You're not going to see two people saved and others get right with God. And you think the devil ain't going to come out roaring tomorrow. Amen. 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 And you'll hear this tonight and you'll think, man, this sounds great. Amen. But then you'll get up tomorrow. And you want a pot of blessed fire pizza. Amen. And I'm telling you, the Bible says twice here in the same verses, it's not to put on some of the armor of God, Amen. not to put on part of the armor of God, but the whole Amen. armor of God. Amen. Hey, you need to get this tonight. When you get up tomorrow, you will need to spiritually apply everything you're hearing tonight. The fight's going to be on. You're not going to have the crowd that we had. You're not going to have the response that we had and think that you ain't ruffled some feathers tonight. Amen. Hell don't like you. Amen. And if hell does like you, I don't like you. Amen. 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 If hell's got your hand, I don't want to hold it. Amen. Amen. And so no matter what, you're on the battlefield against somebody, Amen. whether it's hell or it's the church, I mean, man, you're in a fight, dear friend. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you right now that the fight is real, and we need to learn to fight properly. Amen. Look down in verse 12. The Bible says in verse 12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's right, amen. Now I want you to think of this in the most uh, uh, simplest of terms tonight. Number one, when you get up tomorrow, your fight will not be with mankind. That's right, amen. Hey, husbands, your fight won't be with your wife. Amen. One of the most intense arguments and fights I've ever had in my marriage started on a Monday. Amen. Amen. And your marriage is under great attack. Amen. 
Your marriage is under great. Somebody help me. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you, marriage yes. is under great attack. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you, but who you ain't fighting is the one you're married to. Amen. Amen. Wives, you ain't fighting your husband. That's right. Amen. Children, you ain't fighting your parents. Parents, you ain't fighting your children. If they're fighting among you, no, no wonder you don't know how to fight. You've got the wrong enemy in your sights. Amen. 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 Flesh and blood is not demonic presence. Flesh and blood is human beings. And in uh, the basic, most level, when you think of wrestling, uh, when you think of wrestling, you don't want to just uh, play and play tug the war back and forth. Amen. The point of wrestling, uh, Brother Josh, is for Amen. dominance and control and to pin out your enemy. Right. Amen. Now we get up tomorrow, we're going to realize who the enemy is. Amen. And the enemy will not be at your work. You're going to have people say stupid stuff to you at your work tomorrow. Yep. You're going to have people say real dumb stuff. And I'm going to tell you, the devil's going to use every avenue and every area that he can to bring attack to you. But I want you to be reminded tonight that who you're fighting is not flesh and blood. Right. Because some of you tomorrow will be devastated by your own testimony, not because of what the devil did, but because of the people that you allowed to get in between you and God. Amen. Amen. Y'all better get a hold of this. Amen. God, God Almighty wants you to put on the whole armor of God. God Almighty wants you to understand that you're not fighting against mankind, but I'm telling you the devil will use mankind to bring a bad reproach upon you even starting tonight. Woe unto him whom the offense comes. But offenses do come. Amen. And what some of you are going to do, listen to me. Can I say something to you? If you're looking to be offended, honey, don't worry. You're going to get what you want. Amen. If you're looking to have your feelings hurt, don't worry. Sooner or later, somebody's going to hurt your feelings. Amen. Somebody's going to say something you don't like. Especially, listen to me. I say this all the time, and I mean this with all my heart. And I don't mean it in a mean way. I'm not being facetious. I'm not being ugly. But women are more prone to their emotional attack. Ladies, you better guard yourself tonight. There are going to be somebody that's going to attack you on an emotional level. And then to us men, it won't mean nothing. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. true. But to the woman it will. That's right. Now, men, we got pride problems. Amen. Don't want nobody dogging on me. Amen. Don't want nobody one up. I know y'all make pie and cake, but you don't eat pie tonight. Amen. 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 Us, amen. And I'm going to tell you, as much as the devil knows to deal with them on an emotional level, he'll deal with men on a pride level. Amen. 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 I like over there whenever that snake jumped out of the fire and bit on the, to Paul's hand when he was on the island uh, of the barbarous island. Amen. The Bible says, and he flung the snake, and the Bible says that what he should have swept. Amen. Right. Amen. When there should have been an outward reaction. Amen. To the attack at hand. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. I'm going to get to my message. i got to lay down some Preach foundation. We'll get into it. Amen. But I like what the Bible says he should have sweat. Right. Amen. Well, there should have been an outward reaction. Amen. To what just happened. Right. Amen. Paul did not give the snake. Amen. The opportunity to take his testimony. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, amen. son, yeah, amen. Amen. Thank God when he flung it up, it didn't start all that bleepity bleep, bleep, bleepity bleep, bleep, bleep. Amen. Bleep. amen. I can't believe I'm just trying to put some wood on the fire. I'm just trying to do right. Now, things have happened. Amen. 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 Be a pastor in 2022. That's a lot more why I hear than what I hear on the other side of it. And, and I love it. The fact is, is that, is that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. But we do have a principal enemy. Amen. That's right. Now what y'all want to do is you want to get up tomorrow. And I use me and you because I can't use them. Amen. But I'm going to look at my wife and my wife's going to say something like, I wish you was home more. And I'm going to say, well, if you didn't spend all the money. No, I wouldn't say it. But amen. <laughs> but I would to say, well, you know, we got eight kids. And, and all, listen, these are real arguments. Y'all might not 
not argue, but these are real arguments the devil has used in my house. I'm trying to get her to understand that i got to go to work to make money. And what she's trying to get me to understand, she just wants to spend time with her Amen. husband. Amen. But when I'm trying to justify what I'm doing, it makes me sound like, watch this on an emotional level, that I don't want to spend time with her. Amen. That's right, brother. That's good. Amen. Amen. And then when she says, well, you ain't saw you now, my pride level is what? Are you questioning what kind of daddy I am? Amen. Y'all all all right? Amen. Amen. I know it's preaching good now because it's getting awful quiet. Amen. Amen. And, and you see that, that we are not to fight against flesh and blood. We're not to look for the spirit of offense. That's We're not right. to look for the wrong way to fight. But we have a principal enemy. In fact, look down in verse 12. He said, but against principalities and powers. Amen. Amen. Now when you think about principalities, now the word principality, it literally means like supreme power, superior. Amen. Not supreme, but it means superior power. Amen. What you and I have got to wrap our minds around is we're fighting an enemy. Amen. Yeah. I like my bib dog rolls, but i got to get back to my suit. Amen. Amen. When we're fighting an enemy yeah. that's been fighting this fight since way back. Yeah. Way back. <laughs> way back in Adam's day. Amen. Amen. We're fighting an enemy that is superior in power yeah. to you and I. Amen. Amen. You know, the Bible but, is very clear on this, and it's got given to me today. I thought this was a blessing from the Lord. Miss Cora was telling how she was listening to Ron Ralph, and Ron Ralph said he has never found in the Bible where we are to rebuke the devil or we're to command the devil. Some of y'all walk around like you Buffy the Vampire Slayer with a little cross <laughs> on your finger saying so that's going to have that's some kind of effect on the devil. Hey, that don't scare the devil, friend. You Amen. just look stupid in the fight. Amen. 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 The Bible don't say anything about you rebuking the devil. Amen. That's what Jesus did. Somebody say Amen. That's what the Lord is. Okay? He's the one supposed to be fighting the fight. Amen. But I'll tell you what the Bible does say over in James. And if you'll resist the devil, Amen. then he will flee from you. Amen. And I told her, I said, yeah, just like over in the book of Jude. Amen. When Michael the archangel was uh, was contending with the devil over the body of Moses, the Bible says he durst not a railing accusation, but said in the name of the Lord, I rebuke thee. Hey, the devil, hey, he's got superior power. These angels have superior power. You and I are very, very weak on the on the, the food chain, if you would. And you and I need to start finding a reliance on the Lord in our fight. That's exactly right. I want to give you a scope of the power of angels. Go to 2 Kings. Amen. Amen. I had a man one time I preached. And I mentioned this verse and he jumped up and he said, show me. I'll show you. And I'm going to show you something. Amen. Okay. 2 Kings chapter 19. I want to show you something about superior power. So look at when you talk about principalities and powers, about real authority that you're dealing with. I want you to get a, a real eye, mind's eye of what we're dealing with. 2 Kings 19, when you get to verse 35, say amen. 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 If you don't know where 2 Kings is, look over any table of contents. Now, if you've got a Schofield reference edition, you're in 447. That's exactly right. Amen. But if you don't know where it's at, go over to your table of contents. Amen. Don't let that pride get you. Amen. That table of contents, you wouldn't believe this. They put that in the front of that Bible for you and I. Amen. 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 If you ain't found it by now, just look up and be real smart. We won't even know you ain't there anymore. <laughs> But look at verse 35. I want you to understand, y'all know this is against the Syrian army. And, and, and right here, the angel has came down. I want you to look down here in verse 35. The Bible says, and it came to pass that night. Yeah. Now, I, I, I want you to we don't have a literal time. Amen. Amen. But what we do know, it was in a span of a night. Amen. Amen. And it came to pass that night that the angel Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred, four score, and five thousand. Amen. That's a hundred and eighty-five thousand. Amen. I don't know what the exact time was that we were dealing here in this moment. Amen. But I do know it was in the time of a night. Amen. And whether that was an eight-hour night or an hour night, 
encounter or maybe he started in the last four hours of the darkness. I don't have that. But can I tell you, I don't care if it was four hours. Right. I don't care if it was eight hours. I don't even care if it was 12 hours. Or I don't even care if it was 12 years. He killed 185,000 men in one night. Amen. 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 Well, I just, I get thee behind me, Satan. I got to line, line, dot, dot. Amen. Y'all laughing, but I'm telling you a lot of stuff I hear. It ain't much more than what I'm telling you right now. Amen. I'm going to throw a battle, Brother Hart. You really, you've been in your Bible? Come Amen. On. Man, preach that, Brother. Amen. You're a legalist, Brother Hargis. I'm going through a real struggle. You want to know whether I'm reading my Bible or not? Amen. Amen. Yeah! Amen. Are you praying? Amen. Brother Hargis said, that's the problem. You're so, you just hung up on that stuff. Amen. 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 What are you talking about hung up on that? I, I mean, I need, I need a quick answer. Well, start dressing right. Amen. Amen. And I ain't talking about right now physically. I'm talking about the whole That's armor right. of God. Amen. 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 I'm talking about realizing power of the enemy in which you're fighting. That's Understand right. the strength of what's going on. I'm talking about one angel. 185,000 men in one night. Amen. And you think you're going to go do the fight? Amen. Amen. But we try. I mean, God's given us an entire layout of how we can put out on all the things that's necessary and so that way He can use the things that He's given us and work through us to help us fight our battles. By the way, I don't want to do a good fight. I want Him to fight the fight for me. Amen. I want God to have the victory. I want God to bring you through. I don't want to rely on the arm of flesh. I'm telling you, the arm of flesh will fail you. Amen. Amen. Well, that Hezekiah had the assurance that he didn't care how big the army was because he knew God was for him. Amen. And he said, I know this much. If God's for me, the arm of flesh will fail them. Amen. And that's where we try to find. Uh, and we, we don't realize the strength of the enemy. We don't understand the superiority Amen. when it comes to you and I. Now, I do thank God that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. I thank God for the power and that comes up from the very God of heaven. Hey, look at me. There is no comparison to the power of God in heaven and the devil down here. There's no comparison. He is uh, hey, look, all the preeminence and all the superiority. But you and I have to realize how small we are for him to get that kind of thing. Amen. Can I tell you, they are the rulers of darkness. Go to Revelation chapter 16. I want you to look down there in verse 10. The rulers of darkness are not somebody that's trying to find common ground with you and I. Amen. Y'all do understand Satan's not retarded. Amen. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. He ain't riding the short bus to school. Amen. 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 He's a superior being. And I want you to get a hold of this. He knows that his fate is sealed. Amen. And his days are but numbered. Amen. And the only thing he's trying to do at this point is take as many to hell Amen. as he can. Amen. And the way that he does that is to cause Christians like you and I Amen. to hurt the testimony of our Lord that people do not run toward him. Amen. That's exactly right, brother. That's what's happened in American Christianity. Amen. 9 11 happened, they ran to the church. COVID-19 happened, nobody ran anywhere. Amen. They shut the door and locked it. Y'all all right? Amen. There was not a very bright light to even show where to run to. Amen. You know, listen, I'm going to tell you something. We saw some move of God during that. Amen. I remember he was out there on that front porch that day and all them bands showed up and they were from out of Louisville. 
They couldn't find a church that would preach to them. And they showed up here and they pulled out of those vans. And, and I mean, they started piling out of the vans. And I remember after we got done preaching, I remember I, I talked about one soul after another. I come up here and gathered around the bushes of this church and, and gathered around the front of this building and started giving their heart and their soul to the Lord yeah. right out here. Amen. Yeah. Man, you can't do things like that. Amen. Man, you can't. Hey, look at me. I don't care how bad we try. We can't bring Holy Ghost conviction. Amen. And we can't bring what's necessary for salvation. You Amen. and I are just supposed to be able to point them to the one that can do it. Amen. That's our job in this life. And we ain't the superior being. We don't Amen. have the superior authority. Now, thank God I do got him. Amen. But I want you to understand these rulers of darkness. They rule the dark. The Bible says that we are the children of the day. Amen. They are the children of the night. Amen. That's why I was talking about gambling the other day. Gambling's done in the nighttime. You have Halloween, it's done in the nighttime. Amen. Anything that's done in the nighttime, I really ain't got much interest in it. Somebody.